I'm Brittany. I'm Miranda. And today is day seven. Seven. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> All right. So seven. today, Actually, seven 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 hours. <laughs> uh, today is an upper body workout. You will only need a ball and probably two sets of dumbbells. I'd say a lighter pair and a medium to heavy. Also grab yourself a mat and a bottle of water and let's work out together. Your first circuit will be three exercises back to back, each exercise for 30 seconds with a 15 second rest, repeating that three times. Lay on your ball so your head and your neck are supported. You want the dumbbells straight over your chest and you're gonna come out to about chest level, coming back together. Your butt should be down so you're in an incline. You'll just need one dumbbell here. Be bent over, supporting yourself on your front leg. Your arm is going to start with your palm facing you, and then as you go up, you will twist your palm towards you. Same thing here, we'll just switch sides. Remember, as you bring that elbow up high, really squeeze your shoulder blade.
Rest here, grab a drink of water. Your next circuit will again be three exercises, each one for 30 seconds with a 15 second rest. You will need both pairs of dumbbells and your ball. Depending on your grip strength, you might need a lighter pair of dumbbells. You're gonna start with your arms overhand, curl up towards your shoulder, then turn them away from you so your palms come up towards the ceiling and back down. Grab your ball and just one dumbbell. Go ahead and lay down so your head and your neck are supported, your butt is up. You want one dumbbell to go across your body, come to the opposite shoulder and extend all the way up. Same thing, we're just gonna repeat that with the other side. Do your best to keep your elbow in one plane and then your dumbbell will come down to the opposite shoulder, focusing on the back of your arm.
Good job. You made it through circuit two. Go ahead and grab a drink of water and rest here. Then we will go ahead and start on circuit three. Three exercises in a row, each one for 30 seconds with a 15 second break. Repeating that three times. You may want some lighter dumbbells here. Your arms are going to start at a 90 degree angle at your sides. Then you want your elbows to come up to shoulder level. Try to keep your wrists also in line with your elbows. Keep one of those lighter dumbbells. You're gonna hold it straight up into the air. Your same knee is bent. You're going to do a full sit up, then lift your hips off the ground, then come back down. Your arm that's not holding the dumbbell can be helping you to get up, but do your best to use your core here. Then when you do that hip lift, you wanna be using your low back and your butt.
Way to go. Three circuits are done. We have one more circuit left. It'll be three exercises again, each one for 30 seconds with a 15 second break. Make sure you grab that drink of water and rest and then we'll get started on this last circuit. Depending on your strength, then you might have to go down onto your knees. You're gonna keep your elbows in. Really focus on using your triceps. These are definitely harder than the push-ups, so really push yourself. Come down onto the floor. You want to make a big X with your body. You're going to do your opposite hand to your opposite toe. Crunch up as best as you can. If you need to, bend that knee. Come into a V-sit, so you wanna be right on your butt bones. If you can, go ahead and lift those legs to make it a little bit harder. You can straighten your legs completely.
Well, hope you like those tricep push-ups. Oh, they were awful. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to know from here, what is your hardest exercise? Maybe not even in this workout, but what's your most challenging exercise? Comment below and let us know. Also, make sure you're subscribed and give us a thumbs up too and join us for the next workout.